Hi, it's Greg Hurrell here to talk about Vim again. Um, it occurred to me that it's been days since I engaged in some blatant self-promotion and so it's time to do that again. Um, and today I want to continue the theme of making Vim in the terminal behave a little bit more like a GUI. And I'm going to talk specifically about a plugin I made called Terminus, which I'll leave a link to in the notes. Basically, this is just me taking the stuff that I had accumulated in my dot files over a period of years to make Vim in the terminal behave nicely and just putting it in a plugin. And the four things that effectively get in here, I'll demonstrate. The first is changing the shape of the cursor depending on the mode you're in. Um, so by default, the terminal has this block cursor, which is a rectangle. But with Terminus, you can have insert mode uh, show it as a bar. And when you leave insert mode, it goes back to being a block again. Uh, so that's a nice little touch. It's another one of those things that once you notice that MacVim does it, but the terminal doesn't, it just drives you up the wall until you can get it happening in both places. Uh, the next one, making the mouse work a little better. Um, so we already have pretty good mouse support in Vim for dragging, scrolling, um, and obviously I can do the same in Tmux. Uh, but what I found didn't work too well was when I had Vim running on a really large monitor and I had potentially hundreds of characters across with like many splits, uh, basically the mouse wouldn't work in the far right of the screen. Um, and the reason was that I needed to activate this so-called SGR mouse support. So Terminus will do that for you as well. Um, the other thing it does is so-called focus reporting. So in GUI Vim, because the Mac Vim instance is getting notifications about when the application receives or loses focus, it can do things like check whether the file system needs to be uh, reread. And that normally doesn't happen in the terminal because terminal apps don't get focus events, but they can get them if you're using iTerm. <coughs> and so Terminus just turns that on for you. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, at the moment, I've got this file here that I edited in the previous episode. So I'm going to make a commit. Um, oops. Yes. So I've got a commit. So that state is not going to go away anymore. But what I can do now is check out the previous revision um, of that file, which was in roles.files, file, vim, plugin, mappings, normal. I probably should have just copy pasted that. So the file system is now different than it was a second ago. Will vim notice when it gets focus? You notice that the line I added isn't there anymore because it didn't notice. Um, and similarly, when I go back here, if I can actually get there, let's do the same again. When I go back to Vim, ta -da, it got the focus event, checked the file system using the so-called uh, check time functionality. Oops, if I could spell check correctly. So this is how you tell Vim to find out if anything has changed on the disk. So that's something that Terminus gives you. Um, both of these features that I've mentioned require you to use a modern terminal like iTerm, both the cursor shape change and the focus reporting. I think the mouse support will work more broadly though. Um, the final one is bracketed paste mode. Um, again, I don't know if this works in the terminal app, it definitely works in iTerm. This is wonderful. Every time you see a question online about how do I make Vim not wrangle my text when I paste it in and you see a bunch of people jumping in and saying you've got to use set paste and they have all these mappings that they've set up and they, they have stuff that like automatically unsets paste mode once they finish pasting, you don't need any of that. You can just use bracketed paste mode which is a feature of Xterm, the standard or the protocol, I'm not even sure what it is, but it's existed for many, many years and iTerm implements it. The notion is that the containing terminal knows when I've hit command V, the operating system paste command, it sends an escape sequence that goes in to the running application and says, what you're about to see is a paste. It is not the user sitting at the keyboard mashing keys. And then when it's finished, it sends another escape saying, okay, I've done pasting now. So what that means is I can take source code, which is indented or whatever, and I can just paste it in directly without having to enter insert mode and without having to do set paste, and it's just gonna work. So let's find some source code some source code in here, I think. 
with some indentation like this, for example. So I'm just going to take that text. Um, I'm going to make some space here. And I'm just going to paste it. I'm not in insert mode. I'm just in normal mode. I'm going to paste and it preserve the indentation. Um, now I'm going to do the same again, but in insert mode. I'm just going to paste. It worked. And this is thrilling. Um, and it makes me feel unbelievably smug to know that I have bracketed paste mode and there are countless ignorant heathens out there that don't have it. But you too can have it if you get Terminus. So give it a try. Um, and I've got some more things that I can talk about in future episodes about terminal integration. But if you just get this, you're like 80% of the way there to smoothing out the rough edges of Vim in the terminal. So thanks for listening and tune in again soon.